Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Margo, AKA White Girl Fresh, and I am here today to talk to you about Maybelline. I am wearing a full face of Maybelline products today, and I can't wait to talk to you about the different products that I like to use from their concealer, to their foundation, to their eyeshadow, to their mascara, to their lipstick, to just how great these different products are. And there's so much makeup on the market these days, and most of the time, women that I know go to the drugstore, or go to Walmart, or go to Target, and just wanna buy makeup that make them feel good, and happy, and confident, that isn't too expensive, that isn't too over the top, that still makes them feel like they can look like themselves, but look like a beautiful, confident, amazing version of themselves. And that's why I love Maybelline. That's why I continue to use their products. We're gonna be using the Soda Pop palette, which is right here, and a bunch of other Maybelline products. So this is my first YouTube video, so it's a work in progress. So you're gonna see probably some bloopers in here. Hopefully continue to make videos, but I hope you'll continue watching and Here's the look. Maybelline Makeup, which is the first company of makeup that I ever tried as, I think I was a teenager. Always kind of blown me away with how good all the products are, how well they work for my skin type, which if you can't tell, I have this lovely, nice red olive skin tone. I just love their makeup and love what they stand for and think that they sell really great products at a really affordable price and I think makeup should be accessible. I think makeup should not be something that prices people out of the ability to feel beautiful every day. When I first started putting on makeup I just put it on my skin like whenever I get out of the shower get up in the morning and put on makeup and boom that was all I did. And now some moisturizer from Aveeno. I love this stuff. It's really great. I put it on every morning because it has SPF. Um, you don't have to put SPF on underneath your makeup, but <laughs> I'm 35 and my skin needs to be protected and I live in Florida and the land of nothing but sun and hot ass weather. This scent has a really pretty smell. It smells kind of like the spa. We are gonna put on the Maybelline Master Blur Stick primer but it comes in a stick form so it's it almost looks like glue so you can just put it on your face like this there's no like rhyme or reason or right or wrong way to do it which is nice and it has a really nice texture that kind of blurs your pores get it kind of up close Ooh, see all the wrinkles those are happy lines so it says that it reduces pores and it's a, a universal transparent stick. I think it would probably be problematic for people who have dry skin. Next we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Soap. Helps if you get the name right before you start to say it. Maybelline Superstay. This stuff is the bomb. Full coverage, absolutely. You can see I've already used some right here. Um, I am such a huge fan of this stuff. So the Fit Me Foundation uh, for Maybelline is really great for people who have dry skin. The Super Stay Foundation is really great for gals like me who have normal to oily skin. And this stuff is amazing. And in my personal opinion, I think they've always been good. I think they've always been an affordable brand that made makeup that everybody could wear and it wasn't catering towards any particular demographic or making extreme um, outside the box um, products that would either deter people or people who weren't as adventurous because I think a lot of people wanna put on makeup that makes them feel attractive and confident on a day-to-day -day basis. But most of the day you're not putting on false lashes and really dark lipstick and you know doing a full face of makeup and this foundation I just I love it has a nice little whoops has a nice little pump like that and I'm just gonna put some right here so my favorite way to put on foundation is with a makeup sponge you can use a brush you can use your fingers I have a lot of brushes and a lot of sponges 
So for today, I'm gonna to use a sponge. I personally favor a sponge. There are lots of companies that will tell you, like we have the best foundation brush around. So I'm just tapping it in around my face, really simple. If you've ever used foundation before or you've never used foundation and you're like unsure about using a makeup sponge because you just like powder, which is by the way what I used to do. I didn't wear foundation regularly until I was probably my late 20s, early 30s. Because um, I was just like, oh, I'm just going to get some powder and powder my face and everything will be fine. And that's what I used which by the way is Maybelline powder, which I'll show in a little bit. It really evens out your skin tone, which is nice and even feels really light. For people who want to know the difference between foundation and like BB cream or CC cream, CC cream is, stands for color correcting cream, which is some other foundation that I use from other manufacturers. And BB cream is like a really lightweight foundation that is like half moisturizer, half foundation. So this foundation is like a true foundation in the sense that it is full coverage. It is lightweight. You have one application and you are one and done, honey. You do not need to go back in. You do not need to add extra. And it is nice and even. Like I have these areas around my nose where I'm like, get in there! <laughs> Um, these little, little, yeah, they're like crescent moons by your nose. Isn't that an attractive look? Um, I just go in like that. But you see how nice and even it is up here. And you can pull it down here if you want. Just pull it down into your neck so that you avoid a dramatic line right here which to be honest seemed like a crock of shit for me for a long time until I walked outside in the daylight one day and I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, that was no joke. Next, concealer. So Maybelline has really upped their concealer game. They have always made really good concealer. Um, concealer's tricky because it kind of doesn't matter how good the concealer is. If you have any sort of lines underneath your eyes like I do, there are certain techniques you can use to blend it into your eyes, and we'll get to that in a minute, but this is a Instant Age Rewind Eraser of Dark Circles. And typically it has a sponge right here, but I took it off because I'm a... When you twist it, stuff comes out. I let it down on my eyes. Like so. I like to pull it up to the side of my nose, into the corner of my eye, and out. And use a little extra up here, and we'll blend that in in a second. I said take your small sponge, and then just start dabbing it. And I have to say, resist the urge to cover like this triangle with concealer. Because if you literally just paint a triangle right here, and then try and blend it in, you have nothing but product on your face and there's nowhere for it to go. You need to give your concealer some place to go on your skin. So don't cover completely everything you want to conceal. Now we're looking up close. Ooh! I go back in to that nice little patch by my nose. Cause I get red there. I don't know why, but I get redness around my nose. So back to blending it in. So this concealer is really good because it blends pretty much right away, which is really nice. But concealer creases over time. And I don't really know of any brand that is a creaseless concealer. I think they pretty much all crease at some point. So if you let it set underneath your eye and let it sit in your skin, then you go back in a few minutes later, later, <laughs> go in a few minutes later, dab it out with a sponge again, and you'll really press the product into your eyes. I think places oversell the fact that it's creaseless concealer because I've never had a product that didn't have some creasing. It just creases a little bit. I want the concealer all the way up to my lash line, like draw it all the way up. If you take your sponge and put it on its side, it'll push it all the way up to your lash line, which is great. Concealer is a great way to lighten your face, to even out your skin tone. Even after a full coverage foundation, your eye color 
right here is still a little bit darker. And that's why God invented concealer. I love this concealer because it's also really light. It goes really well with the with the Superstay foundation. I'm a big fan. This makeup that Maybelline makes can work on so many different people. And it's such great quality that whenever I use it, I don't feel like I'm being cheated out of quality makeup because I bought it at the drugstore, which is I think a lot of the mental thought process people have thinking like, oh, well, is it just as good as what I could get everywhere else? But the very realistic reality is, is that there are a lot of people who like to do makeup who cannot s just swoop into Ulta or Sephora and spend hundreds of dollars on makeup. Like you wanna be able to go to the store, get makeup that's affordable, that makes you feel confident and gorgeous, but still like yourself. Well, and it, their makeup certainly does that for me. Next up, we have the Maybelline Brow Preci Precise. I can't speak today. Maybelline Brow Precise. Precise. Let's see up here and a spoolie down here. I'm using the color Soft Brown. They didn't have the color that I normally use, which is like a little bit darker brown. That's okay. I honestly didn't tweeze my eyebrows until I was in college and the first time someone did it to me, I was like, why do people do this? It hurts so bad. It gets better. All right, so this is what it looks like and the color is right there. And the spoolie on the other end, just clean those eyebrows up. I have this really annoying patch right there. Trust me, it's sick. If you are starting out, this is really great because it's really precise. You can clean it up, you can shape it. This is almost an exact replica of what the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I believe that product is $18 and this one is $6. Takes it out of you doing your eyebrows sometimes. So now that that's all done, eyeshadow for me is my favorite part of doing makeup. I love playing with color. I love playing with d shimmers. I love playing with glitter. I love playing with all of it. So I'm very excited to use the Soda Pop palette. Really excited about this color, Soda Fizz. And this color looks really fun too. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this color, Ginger Ale. And we're just gonna put that up here. Something that I've always been really hesitant about with makeup is experimenting with color. It feels like something that can go sideways really fast <laughs> when you try different colors. I am gonna experiment with some purple, which purple has always been my favorite color to use on my eyes. It's my favorite color in general, as you can see from my shirt. But, um, and I love that the palette is purple, that's so cool. So we're gonna go in with Cola Float now as a transition color. I didn't know what transition color meant until maybe six months ago. A transition color is basically a color where you're gonna put a lighter or darker color beneath it. That's my understanding of it. Um, so I'm just gonna take a small fluffy brush We'll just pad this in here. And the great thing also about Maybelline makeup is that um, a, lot of, a lot of times with more expensive makeup, the pigment can be so bold that when you put it on, you have to be really delicate and really careful. And I like wearing makeup where you don't have to be so delicate about it. So something I think that I have begun to utilize over time is smaller brushes to use my eye makeup. Honestly, if you have one like small blending brush like this, one fluffy blending brush like this, and then like a smaller brush kind of like this, I think that's fine. I am feeling attracted to these two. Slow. If I have one tip for anybody, it's go slow, take your time, build up your color, it doesn't have to be dramatic on one swipe because at my level of makeup, I, I like I'm not putting one swipe on. I'm like, oh, I'm done. That's it. Woo um, so take your time and just, yeah, ooh, that's pretty. I've been using the same brush for everything 
in this tutorial. I really like it. It's a Morphe M506. Morphe sells brushes at Ulta. They're really affordable. They have a lot of range. You can use them for lots of different kinds of makeup and they're absolutely phenomenal. So if you want to try buying brushes and you don't know where to start or you don't know what brand to choose, Morphe is an excellent choice and they happen to be really economical and really affordable and I think they're the best. you'll hear people talking about fallout from eyeshadow palettes and that just means that fallout that can like come down on your eyes down here and another reason why I really love Maybelline eyeshadow is because there's almost never any fallout even really thick shimmer colors with some glitter in it have minimal fallout which I think is really impressive because um, Eyeshadow colors that have a lot of glitter are really heavy, so it's easy for them to fall off their brushes and onto your skin. So, I love that about Maybelline. I'm loving this so far. I think it's really, really pretty. I wonder if you ever want to dust the edges, because mine never seem to line up evenly out here. I like to go like this and like this and try and make them match. I've seen people use tape and use stuff to make it even on these sides. Maybe I'll do that someday, but today's not that day. All right, so we are gonna go in with Cherry Cola, which is this really pretty color right here. Typically used brushes to put on shimmer, but lately I've been using my fingers and I think it's the easiest way. And that's what it looks like on my index finger, by the way. I highly recommend holding your finger to the side like this because it's easier to put makeup on your eye when it's to the side because otherwise it gets like too high up your eye. Dabbing it on right there. Ooh, ooh. That's the sound of white girl fresh joy. So I will say that there is a lot of pigment with this color, but the shimmer is on the kind of lighter side uh, of shimmer. So if shimmer is not really your jam, but you like color, you, I think, will really like this. Next up for an inner corner highlight and some brow highlight. Ooh, that's really pretty. I'm gonna go in with Soda Fizz. Look at this. This is like a really pretty, like, rose gold looking shimmer. It's really, ooh, I'm clumsy. I love doing inner corner. I love this little brush. It's so perfect for getting into the corner of your eye and just painting that little. Look at how the light, it just, it just catches. And pull it up a little bit so it blends in with your eye color. Hey, so now we are gonna go in with the Maybelline Jet Black Long Lasting Matte Eyeliner. So you just twist up and down and that's how that's how she works because for the purposes of tutorials I think it's helpful to have eyeliner because it makes them more dramatic and I know a lot of people who wear eyeliner and mascara and lipstick and like that is their routine and that's what they love and that's what how they love to wear their eye makeup and that's great I have never been a super big fan of eyeliner. Put some color underneath my eyes with the color root beer. And it looks way darker in the pan and then when you put it on it's very buildable which is lovely because ain't nobody got time for black circles because we spent a lot of good time covering them up. Next we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. Most of Maybelline's uh, mascaras are 
some of the industry best. If you want mascara, you could pick out any Maybelline mascara and they're pretty fantastic. When I put on mascara, I want it to do everything. I want it to lengthen my lashes. I want it to fluff my lashes. I want it to add volume. I want it to lengthen. I basically want it to look like I have false lashes with them being my real lashes. Lashes are looking pretty okay, I think. Maybelline is the best. We are going to put on some powder. And my favorite of Maybelline's is the Better Superstay Better Skin Powder. It's listed as Skin Transforming Powder. It has a really matte finish. It has a blurring effect on your skin, and I absolutely love it. It goes really well with their foundation, but honestly, if you don't want to use foundation and you want to have some powder, this powder is fantastic. Since I don't have any Maybelline highlighter on me, I am going to use that color Tonic again from the eyeshadow palette highlighter. I feel like is for me, it's not important, but it's fun. I get excited when I see it though. Like I talk some smack about highlighter and then I see it and I'm like. We are gonna go in with the Maybelline Superstay Matte Loyalist. This is really cool because the applicator is pointed. So this color is, it looks different on camera than it does in person. It's a really light pink peachy color, more peach than pink. It's kind of like a perfect mix of pink, nude, and peach. This is the finished look. I am kind of in love with this look. The shadow <laughs> ended up being a really great highlighter. In conclusion, I would highly recommend the Maybelline Soda Pop Palette for fall and for fun. I think Maybelline is just the best and certainly the best drugstore products. I cannot recommend highly enough the Age Rewind Concealer and the Superstay Foundation. It is just amazing any of the mascaras so in conclusion if you want to feel great about yourself and your face and your makeup Maybelline is a great option and a really affordable option and you can mix and match different products with different lines of makeup and they still look really good they're very wearable very accessible and I've always been super happy and confident with how all of their products have made me look and made me feel. So thank you Maybelline for all that you make and all that you do and all the confidence that you're building for women across all the places that you sell Maybelline because I know that it's certainly changed my life because it's how I started makeup. It was the first thing I picked up in the store and I've been picking it up ever since and thank you for making products for women that are really, and men, uh, thank you for making products that are just really high quality and just because they're a drugstore price, you don't settle for the quality. So thank you for that.